Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brian with today's Lean for our third and final session in conversation with Shelley Avery at Microsoft. The first session we talked about text and just the ability to collaborate using text. The second session was about expanding that text to things like group text and group notifications. And in this third and final installation, we're going to be talking about the role of video. So as we're all aware, I mean, the world of video is changing and we are becoming more accustomed to doing more and more things via video. And we're going to see what kind of role that plays within healthcare. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for hanging with us. And this is about a five minute session. So we look forward to hearing again from Shelly. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you. My name is Brian. I'm with today's Lean, and returning again is Shelley Avery from Microsoft with us. Today, we're going to talk about video in the realm of collaboration and chat and all the other things we've talked about. Hey, Shelley. Yeah, thanks, Brian. So, talk I to us about video. Well, how is you know it's so pervasive, right? We're so we're coming becoming so used to it, and maybe specifically how it relates to healthcare. Yeah, so kind of back to our first conversation around how, you know, we used to just pick up the phone, dial somebody and hope they would be an they would answer. Um, you know, a few years ago, video video wasn't as pervasive as is today, but I think consumer chat or consumer apps that we have in our consumer lives yeah. has really made video much more prevalent. Um, there's FaceTime on the iPhone, there's Messenger on uh, Facebook, the, even Skype consumer world. Um, you know, when we were on vacation, we would, you know, Skype our grandma to talk to her or whatever. And yeah. so, um, again, with the generations, you know, video is becoming the natural form of communication for people. And, um, I mean, just think about it body language and yeah. facial expressions are so much um it's easier to communicate when you can see somebody and easier to get to know somebody when there's video involved yeah and i know even in our efforts in in healthcare we have this nirvana right kind of telemedicine right where we're actually seeing the patient connected with the provider and or any other support uh people surrounding that need for the patient's journey um, how do you see that happening with uh, specifically in your world and Microsoft and what's going on there? Yeah, um, yeah, we are seeing that a lot. We see a couple different versions of video in healthcare, and I think the most common one and the easiest one is um, clinician to clinician consults. So one nurse or doctor might be with a patient and they need an expert. Um, maybe from a different facility or even from a different practicing hospital because they are the leading expert in that area. And right. so just kind of doing a quick video call, um, you know, with the patient present or with without the patient, um, video to video, being able to, um, you know, gather relevant information and have a conversation about symptoms or um, even checking vitals and things like that over video is 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 happening in hospitals today um, yeah. very often. Yeah. Do you see? Do you, can you foresee a scenario where there's multiple people, like patient, provider, maybe a specialist, maybe a, a home health nurse? Do you see those environments emerging now, or the potential for them? Yes, definitely. I, I'll give you one example. We're working with a children's hospital where they have enabled the local ISD schools with um, video equipment and the nurses in these elementary schools might get a severe case and need to have a consult with a attending physician at the local children's hospital. But because that child is under 18, they need a parent or guardian present. And so they'll, they're doing a three-way video consult. And so what wow. they do is they will call the parent or email the parent while the parent is at work. The parent doesn't have to leave their office. They can just get on either with their smartphone or on their PC, join in uh, this video call with the child at the school with the nurse and with the uh, attending physician at the children's hospital. So absolutely see multi-party um, video visits. 
Yeah, that is that is amazing. What a practical way to do that. And um, anything else exciting on the Microsoft front in video that you want to share with us? Well, um, maybe not as clinically um, pointed, but another thing that um, we're seeing in a lot of our providers and even our payer spaces from a healthcare perspective is large meetings, extra, extra large meetings, thousands oh, cool. and thousands of plus. And so you kind of look at this as like a town hall or an all company, all hands meeting where a, a president or maybe even a chief nursing officer or chief medical officer or lead of HR might be presenting to their entire department and they need to give, you know, quarterly updates or annual reviews or things like that. And so you might only have three or four presenters on the call and then you could have thousands of attendees that are watching right. it yeah. um, and so that's another area of video that's becoming um, more common as as yeah. our customers are learning about the capabilities of the technology amazing that's the exciting stuff you can see it moving that way in the future well thanks Shelly for spending time with us again this afternoon and I'd love to have you back and talk about these items or more items in a deeper in a deeper way. So thanks again so much for being on. Yeah, it was fun. Good to talk to you today, Brian. All righty.